My name is Naam Somtate. I'm the head of versioning at Fundawanda as well as a researcher at RECEP at the University of Stellenbosch. I'll be joining you in March for the e-learning week in Belgium, Brussels. My talk will be looking at four components of what Funda Wonders is currently doing. That's the materials, that's the intervention, and that's the research element, and as well as the numerous component in multilingual contexts. Funda Wonder is a recently registered NPC. We work in the early reading literacy space in South Africa, particularly in developing reading for meaning for kids from grade one to three. Fundo Wande's main mandate is to teach teachers how to teach reading, and specifically in African languages. As you may know or may not know, that in South Africa we're living in a multilingual context, up to 11 official languages and even more that are not official. So basically, um, what we have done at Fundo Wande is we have developed a program that has about four or five components. The first program, or the first component, is um, the lesson plans. The second component is the multimedia videos, which accompany the lesson plans. And then the third component is we also have booklets that accompany our lesson plans. And then the fourth component of Funda Wande is the Rhodes course. Now, this Rhodes course is meant to address my, uh, the point of uh, historically teachers in South Africa didn't have the same um, teacher training. So the fifth component in Funda Wanda are the anthologies. Now the anthologies were a series of books that were developed by Maltino called the Vula Bula series. Usually these books were printed in small as the titles, but what we have done because of costs, constraints, generally in the fiscal budget of South Africa, we've managed to compile this book into one anthology which makes the printing of each book up to 25 rand. And these books are available in grade 1, 2 and 3. In South Africa, or I think in general, globally, that in your early grade or subjects are mainly divided into three. It's your languages, it's your numeracy, and as well as life skills. So when we started developing Funda Wanda Reading for Meaning for the foundation phase teachers, the response was, this is great, it's good, the videos, the lesson plans. Funda Wande, Kamani Nande. But we're also not just language teachers, but we're also mathematics teachers. So through pressure from teachers and engaging with stakeholders, we realized that in foundation phase, we need to address all three main learning areas. Hence the birth of Balawande. So Balawande, it is bilingual, yet again addressing the whole multilingual context. So the main aim of that is that critiques and literature shows that a lot of concepts in African languages for mathematics are not available. Kids are expected to do maths in English from grade four onwards. So the idea of doing a gradual release of this bilingual um, workbook or material is that kids can start grasping these mathematical terms that they will need when they are doing maths from grade 4 to grade 12. We started an intervention in an RCT in Eastern Cape uh, where we're working with 30 schools. In total with the controlled schools there's 60 schools. There we've got eight coaches that go in and each coach has been allocated five schools and they go and visit teachers once a week. These are teachers from grade one to three. They are using our Funda Wanda materials and basically to try and coach teachers how to teach reading for meaning. And this year we've launched another pilot in Limpopo province, specifically for Sibeli for now. The interesting and the exciting part about this intervention is that it's not only we have the Funda Wanda components, but we're going to also have a library component and as well as a teacher assistant component to see in these big classrooms, which you typically find in South Africa, what are the factors that could help kids or can steer kids towards good comprehension levels. So one of our biggest things at Funda One is to allow the language speakers to lead the material developments. 
In that way, we allow people to bring their own identity and their own aesthetic of the language and the culture. But when you do walk into those classrooms and teachers engage with us and we get feedback and critique with the material and the lesson plans and them starting to understand these concepts, anything to them that makes sense and anything to them that is easy and it flows and it improves their teaching practices, teachers are open to it and they will take it and they will run with it. We are now pushed and we are excited and we are ready to expand for Nwanda in all the official African languages in South Africa. Ngosigakulu, Diabulela, Sizobonana, Belgium in March 2019.